Hey guys, Chef Shea Bear here. Today we're going to be cooking steaks on this portable grill. It is a disposable grill, it's already got the charcoal in it. Let's check it out and see how it does. Okay guys, we're getting ready to take this outside and try it out. It says here, unwrap and place the charcoal grill on its wire stand. You light the bag at all four corners using the flammable stick provided. The solid fire starter included in the bag will easily and safely start your char charcoal grill without lighter fluid then you wait 15 to 20 minutes or until the coals you know to be uh, white before cooking you know just like you would any other thing it's designed to create an even cooking heat for about two hours so that's cool we'll check that uh, after cooking extinguish charcoal completely with water sand or dirt let's take this outside and let's give it a shot Let's open this up. Now, what I have found out is this is made and printed in, in Canada. Okay, Toronto. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Okay. And but it's sold by Campro USA Limited. And it's got their post office box. They're out of Champlain, New York. Okay. They do have a phone number. Now there's there's no there's there's no I mean when I when I looked up Campro they're open right now they close at 5:30 but when I went to their website I couldn't find anything like this on there they sell tools and stuff um, but I didn't think to look if that that phone number matched now I, I scanned that code that barcode and when I scanned the barcode hold it up there maybe you can scan it and see what you think what you come up with but it, it, it keeps taking me to some kind of Chinese writing stuff and it's real weird um, like I said there's 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 no uh, website or anything on it so I I don't know guys um, you know this could be a very rare thing that I'm about to use but it, it says you can use it reuse this so or throw it away Okay, but it says to put it on the stand okay let's see if I'm doing it right okay the stand goes like this that's what it says to do so you set it up on its little stand there you open this up but it's kind of cool hope I'm recording there's the little grill. It's pretty cool. Now, these are fire starters here. Because you can break this into fours, so. It's kind of windy out here, but if this don't work, guys, I got charcoal fluid in the house. So. It's kind of cool, though. I don't know. That's pretty flimsy. I don't know if it's going to hold a steak or not. That's... <laughs> I'm only putting two on there, but hey, we'll see, right? All right, we're going to see if this lights up like it should. I'll give it a couple minutes, and I'll be back with you. Okay, while the charcoal is getting ready, I have had these marinating all day. These two steaks here, and this um, 
steak seasoning stuff here. Now I also put my seasoning on it as well. And what I've done is I've cut get you down here. I don't know if you can see them, but I've made little slices in there so that way the meat could soak up the uh, the uh, steak seasoning. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tenderize them just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little. Just to give it a little extra something, you know. So, let's go ahead and put those over here. And then as they are cooking, I'm going to use the, the leftover sauce that's in there and baste them while it's cooking, while they're cooking, okay? Now, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to hit them um, real hard. I got some foil this time, and I'm going to put it over it just so whatever juices are in there won't splash out. And I'm just going to lightly tenderize them. Just going to hit them a few times on each one. like that. See, I felt a little splatter. That's why I put this on here. A lot of guys will do this first, but I don't want to flatten them out either. Flip them over. As soon as the grill is ready, we're going to take these out and put them on the grill. Here's the steaks that have been marinating all day. We're going to put these on here for about two minutes. Then we're going to turn them, quarter turn, for another minute or two. And then we're going to flip them and do the same thing. Okay, as you can see, it's been two minutes. I turned them a quarter turn. Now I'm going to baste these a little bit. And in about one minute, I'm going to flip them. Which it may be close to that right now. When you flip them, you never want to put them in the same spot, if you can help. Alright, that's my timer. So... Let's go ahead and flip these over. So I'm going to kind of go, ooh, look at that. I'm going to kind of go like that for two minutes. And I'm going to turn them a quarter turn, cook them for another one minute. And then I'll check the internal temperature. Okay, the timer just went off. I checked these, they're about 135 in the center. Let's take them in the house. We're going to let them rest and we'll cut into one and see what it looks like. Just give it one of these real quick. Kind of help sear it. There's our steak. Let's let them rest and check them out. Let's try a couple dogs on here for Bruno. They are plumping. Okay, we've let them rest for about 10 minutes. Let's cut into one of these, see what we got. That's the way she liked hers. I like mine medium rare. She likes hers medium. So, let's see about us in here. Yeah, see there's a little bit of pink in the middle of that. All right, let's give her a bite. See what she thinks of it. You go monkey. Yay! See what you think. Mm. It's good, baby. Is it good? Mm -hmm. All right. And then we got Bruno over there. You want to give him a bite of his hot, one of his little hot dogs? Yeah. 
What do I need? What do you think? Yep. <laughs> he loves it. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Very right. good. Got a lot of flavor in it. Good. Mm hmm. Alright, guys. It's another episode of Chef Shea Bear. So. Hope you enjoyed that little grill. Sorry I don't have any more information on it, but that's all I could find. So, anyway, it did its job. So, we probably just used a $400,000 grill. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. We have uh, fun. That's all I meant. Yeah. So, anyway, it worked out great. So, I'm going to say bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching, and keep it cooking, guys.